Hello, it's Stunners, and I'm back pretty much right after the last video, ready to once again enter the dungeon. I only just noticed um, that these characters have a little bit more animation while they're standing here. I'd had the impression before without looking too closely that they all just had the same... They were all pretty much just standing there bouncing. Um, I hadn't spent long enough to notice that they actually do their own little things, flicking the cigarette, or well, lighting it, smoking it, flicking it away. This guy, this guy was the one that I actually noticed first, um, just because he had a big smirk on his face, and I started wondering whether he always had that. I don't seem to notice as much movement from these guys. Anyway, I have now done the pilot, the marine, and I am now moving on to the hunter. Who has the rusty side on? Oh, I start with two guns. And the crossbow. Always a fan of, well... I say always, but it's not like I've got that many games. Um, not that much of a large sample size to draw from. But I have been a fan of crossbows in games that I have encountered them in. Dog. A faithful companion finds items on room clear. Okay, cool. He'll just follow me around and do stuff. <laughs> I just remembered that in my first game, um, not counting the tutorial, that I'd found a key to a cell. I'd like to find that now. I think I was very lucky. waves come time. Man, in the previous video I had a I found a passive skill which stunned enemies when I flipped tables. That was pretty sweet. I haven't had a chance to... Cool. Sometimes reveals the flaw. The Gundren is unmappable, but it was not always so. It is said that in his youth, the great cartographer Woban has created four great maps, one for each floor of the Gundren. While working on the fifth and final map, the walls suddenly began to shift strangely. They continue to do so to this day. So I wonder if that's a, at the start of a level has a chance to map it or something. if the red creep did anything.
just noticed the shopkeeper over here. Let's take a look at what we've got. Well, I've currently got 30 um, currency. There's actually a bunch of stuff in here. Wind up gun, sort of. Key, ammo, refill, health, blanks. I don't know how long that was saying reload for. These bullet patterns are really cool. So I think what I need to find out is whether switching weapons can save me time reloading. I should test it here. Oops. Okay, so if I interrupt the reload, then it won't complete. But if I desperately just need to shoot something, then I don't know. Oh wait, did that reload complete? I don't know. for my mistakes. It's not going to do well for the whole reinforcement learning process. I'm not sure I think my computer might actually be having trouble recording this. I can't tell. It seems to be sitting around 60. Hmm. I'll just have to see how the video looks after. What is this? all of the things, I think. Whatever. Destruction! Yeah! What are you? Regular shotgun. A regular shotgun, there's nothing special about it. Favoured by the shotgun kin that roam the gungeon as it reminds them of their home. My hands look kind of weird in this position, don't they? Or is it just me? 
I have no idea where my brain goes. Um, to the west. I should probably. Yeah, that takes a while to reload. Um, I can always come back after the boss. In the lead throne, Bullet King. Damn it, I thought I could dodge. I was like, I've got a button for blanks. I don't probably don't need it right now, but I desperately want to remember what the button is. Okay, now I'm overusing it. Oh! Get out again. Damn it! I think they move slightly. Either that or I'm just playing bad. But I'm a think I think I'm assuming that those other shots are moving more straight than they actually do. Oh, jeez. That could have gone better. Oh, I'm so grateful for those. Beehive. <laughs> and it's a weapon. Shoot bees. I don't know what I expected. A beehive is nature's gun. Give it a good shake and let the bullets fly. Oh wow. That is not a precise weapon. Um, I can teleport. Should I buy more blanks after wasting so many before? Do I need to purchase ammo? Mm. I'll wait for now. Oh, I can speak to you. Watch out for all the bullets. Yes. Wind up gun. Well, I think initially I should just play with the goal of finding and seeing as many of the things as I can. Although I should probably balance it slightly with surviving. Uh. Oh yeah, I just literally just bought this. Wind up gun. Decreases in damage output as the clip empties. You gotta wind it. Okay. Ah, they become. <laughs> But yeah, so they become visibly less damaging as well. So I guess that's also a good indication for knowing when a reload is coming up. But... Chamber 2 of the Gundren proper. Thank you. 
send out the bees. Okay, that's pretty sweet. I think that serves as a good panic gun. Shark. Leaves a wake of bullets. could see your way to digging up a key for me, little dog, I would be greatly appreciative. Oh, that's dumb! dog. It's pretty nice that they, um, oh. it's pretty nice that they have the dog make a sound when it's found something. Especially that room was pretty big and I potentially could have missed that. You know, as satisfying as it is to um, destroy all of these little things, um, I don't even know what to call them. All the, you know, all of the pots and all of the barrels. And stuff. I just feel like that's a more generic word that I could use. Um, but as much fun as it is destroying them, and how I kind of like it. Some, oh shit. 
Hey. lost my train of thought there now. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, cool. So I guess that the other passive item, which can sometimes reveal flaws, uh, actually did reveal the floor this time. Can I roll past you? Oh my god, my butt! I feel really bad for... I feel bad for laughing. Oh, that poor dog. Dang it. Okay, I think I just need to time things better. And I need to remember that I can do that. Um, and I probably should have looked at the map to see where I needed to go. can I jump? Can I make it to that? Nice. <clears throat> oh. What I was thinking is, while I wouldn't mind it, or while I kind of like to be rewarded by having a thing pop out, at the same time I'm glad that Nothing actually seems to be in them because otherwise, then I'd really feel compelled, you know, and be like, nope, you have to check everything if you want to play it optimally. And then that would be less fun and just kind of tedious. So I think that's two chests now. Two chests, still zero keys. Speaking of keys, I think. That's what I need. What is this? No, it's not. It's not giving me an option to do something else. Okay, so there's two chests and a cage. Primer. An ice bomb? Ammo, hearts. Gundrum ant. I really wish you had keys. I'm gonna try it. Well, I've got bees. Now, apparently, I've got ants. What army? Semi automatic. Alternates between oily bursts and fiery blasts. When the great bullet fell from the sky, not even the earth beneath the Gundren was spared. The ants that made their home beneath the floors became terrifying in size and capable of projectile speed. Nearly extinct, the last of the species occasionally hide in nests. Oh look, it's like legs are twitching and its mandible is opening and closing. It bounces. Oh, I... I feel like shooting in there was probably a bit risky. I didn't even think about it. suddenly gone really, really bad. <laughs> oh my god. That was pretty silly. <clears throat> oh well, that is the hunter. And I'm still not doing much. 
Oh, I guess I'm doing slightly better, but still not much in the way of progressing through the levels or unlocking things. But getting there, still having fun. Um, next video, I believe I will do the Convict. I think that was the name of the last one. It is indeed. Well, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.